everybody, Lawman Mike of Lawman Guitars, WWW Lawman Guitars, here with another really cool vintage guitar. What we've got today is a 1965 Dobro resonator, and uh, it is uh, a very, very rare guitar. Try to find information on this one. Uh, this one was made in 1965. I was able to uh, date it from the Gruen uh, appraisal book, which uh, if you don't have a copy of that, you should grab one. They're great for vintage guitar people. Help us to find these obscure guitars. And it's in beautiful shape. It sounds wonderful. And uh, it's round neck, so you can play it as a standard guitar. Uh, but it also sounds unbelievable with slide. Not being a slide player myself, we brought in Bob Pace from here in Des Moines to play some uh, slide for you. Bob, take it away. Wow, thanks Bob, that was some awesome playing. Uh, this guitar has uh, original everything. Uh, I want to point out it has the original Dobo, Dobro logo plate. Uh, it's got the original uh, open back Waverly tuners. It's got the original bridge. It's got the original uh, truss rod cover. Yes, it does have a truss rod. And it's got the original screens. It's got the original uh, resonator plate. It's got the original um, resonator plate inside. It's got the original uh, resonator bridge. It's got the original tailpiece. It's got the original everything. Uh, this guitar is absolutely fantastic. I was really excited to get it. It was absolutely awful when I got it. It needed to be set up. It was terribly dirty. When I uncovered this beautiful uh, vintage finish, uh, this, this uh, spruce top is beautiful. You can see fi uh, finish crazing going through it like a lot of the Gibsons look like, and uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, 1965 was when Dobro was selling the company. So let me give you just a quick history lesson on uh, this particular guitar. It must have been one of the last Dobros because Moserite Guitar bought them in 1965, 1966, somewhere in there. So there's a couple guitars I've seen that say Mobro up here, which was the Moserite Dobro guitar. They look exactly like it, uh, except for the logo plate. Now what's unique about this particular guitar is how they're assembled. Uh, there's some sort of a rocker piece inside here where the heel is. Uh, my tech tried to uh, take it out. He says it must have been built into the guitar. He says it's not coming out, uh, which is uh, actually kind of nice because someone might have messed with it and, and messed it up. This guitar is engineering uh, genius. It's got one little screw here, which you loosen the screw and you can bring the neck this way, you can bring the neck that way, and then you just tighten it down. It's so simple. Uh, it was one of the easiest setups uh, my tech had ever done, and uh, he said it works perfect. Uh, as you can see, the back's in great shape. Of course, it has uh, dings and a little buckle rash. Uh, there's some missing finish here on the, on the neck heel, uh, but the neck, you can see, is absolutely beautiful maple. Uh, this guitar is just such a pleasure to play. Uh, he, uh, my tech set it up with just awesome, easy playing action, and uh, it's just absolutely a pleasure to play this guitar. this guitar. Anyway, uh, this guitar is awesome. Uh, I have a uh, hard shell case with it and just so happens to be a hard shell Dobro case. It is not vintage correct. Uh, it's not from the 1960s, uh, but believe it or not, I had a case uh, in my uh, stash uh, of a hard shell Dobro case. So I have a Dobro hard shell case that is not the original case. Uh, it fits it perfect. It's in beautiful shape. It has gray plush interior. It's a beautiful case. 
So uh, this is an awesome, awesome guitar. It's very rare. You just don't find these out there. Uh, if you do, it probably has a different headstock on it. Uh, so if you're looking for something unusual, and one of the best sounding guitars that I have in uh, the entire inventory is this particular Dobro. So uh, check it out. Uh, check out the, the uh, other guitars that we have in uh, lawmanguitars.com. We uh, are bringing you some of the finest vintage guitars and rare guitars uh, known to mankind. So thanks for watching today. This is Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars. Thanks for watching.